coffee and a chocolate biscotti from one of my favorite places to get coffee. It's actually a restaurant and I stop there just to get a coffee to go. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Now for the pomegranate juice taste test I love that they have fresh pomegranate juice there This was like the last one ah! Wait, hold on, pomegranate juice stains. Please hold. Mm. I already tried it in the mm. store. I didn't get a good sip the first time I tried it, but it's so good. It is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Be careful. The thing about it is, is they actually Squish the pomegranates right there for you to make the juice. And we got a pomegranate, which this is the same um, pomegranates they use for the juice. So if the juice is this good, that means the pomegranates, it's gonna be amazing. Wait, we have to try it at home? Yeah, because we can't like open this in the car. Why? It's complicated to open. It doesn't matter, so we're trying it Yeah, we can't do that now. It's gonna make a mess. And then I also got this <laughs> coconut cracked almond butter. I normally get this in the small one. And I actually went for the small one and he accidentally charged me for the large one. And I was like, you know what? It's so good. Let me just get the large one. It's $25, but very much worth it. So good. Oh my gosh, so good. You're gonna, <clears throat> you'll like it. I'm I eat it by the try it. You don't have to try it if you don't want to, but you're missing out. I don't care. <laughs> All right, we're going to Trader Joe's. They didn't have the flowers that I was looking for. So we have so, to go to Trader Joe's. We have to go to Trader Joe's. And then we got to stop by the thrift store because I want to get... Yes, I love the thrift store. I can't my, It's my baby. <laughs> we got to get I a candy love, dish. I only love the thrift store so I can get toys. You're not getting anything yes, until I Christmas. Am. I told you. <laughs> and then um, I want to get a candy dish. And I need to get, like, maybe two coffee table books to finish my... Um, coffee table decor so that's what we're about to do now because i missed you so i'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you baby this year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La 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 oh oh La 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 oh oh La 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I lit my Okay, so I am in the thrift. I did not find any good like coffee table books, but I did find this beautiful Streets Ahead belt. These are typically very expensive and I had a few of my favorites on Poshmark, so that was very lucky. And then I found this other really pretty one that could layer with it. So I'm gonna show you them next to each other so you can see. Okay, so this is the Streets Ahead belt, which I absolutely love, fits so nice. And then this is the other one, real leather made in Italy. And so both of these layer together, so cute. So I'm gonna get these, but now I am in the decor section to try to see if I can find a really cute candy dish. So I'll show you guys what I find when I get done looking. Okay, so I found this, it's beautiful. It's 24 karat plated. Um, this is gonna be perfect. 
So I think I'm gonna get this. How much is it? $7.99. But then I also saw this cute little vase. You put the flowers like right here. I think that could be really cute. And then I like this for the candy dish. And I might get this little, um, like for like the bud base. But yeah, this is cute. For sure, I'm gonna get this one. So I'm just gonna look around a little bit more because like this is cute. I also think this is really cute too. Ooh, I like this. I can really use this. Okay, so here is the update. I did get, um, there was one thing, the one with the gold leafing on it, the like little flat dish that I was like, for sure I'm gonna get this. I actually ended up not getting that just because it was $7.99, which for what it was, was not bad at all. However, I am trying to stick to a budget for these things and that was gonna dig into my budget for something else and I already had the other things. So I did get this candy dish and then I actually got the heart vessel because that was only um, $2.50 or like $2.99. And it was such a cool, like little unique thing that I could use right now, but also after the fact. And then I got this right here, which is actually two pieces. This part detaches from the top. And that is just something that I think will look really nice on my coffee table because of the height of it. And also, um, when I like wanna buy flowers for my place, that's the perfect like little vase for like smaller little cute arrangements and things. I've been trying to collect vases that are really cute for flower arrangements that I actually like really love versus like the basic standard ones that you see. That's why I got those. And then I got the little, this little dish because this is just those cute little catch-all dishes I can even use it and put the controllers on it and it's just like really cute it's going to be on part of the the tablescape the store did not have the Hershey's Kisses that I was looking for so I think I'm gonna have to go to Target and then because I'm gonna be over there I'm just gonna go to the thrift store over there because I really in order to like complete what I'm trying to do I really need a coffee table like I need like two coffee table books <sighs> yeah i want to really try to go and find those so that when i go home i can do my coffee table scape and just like literally be done with it and then i also have a little thrift flip i'm so excited in the last video i showed you guys the leather jackets that i had cropped but there is this mew mew jacket that i was like telling you guys oh this reminds me i think i told you guys that it reminds me and I wanted to kind of like recreate. And so I went on Amazon and I bought the beaded floral patches to sew onto it to recreate. And I am so excited they came yesterday. So today I'm gonna be sewing those on. And I actually am going to be doing that before I finish the tablescape because I need to set my sewing machine on the coffee table and I don't wanna do the whole entire ta tablescape and have to like move it because I like sew on my coffee table. I want to uh, do the like little thrift flip first. I don't know if I'm gonna like film all the way through cause I don't know how much footage I have and I don't wanna make it too long, but we'll see um, how much of it I can actually film. And so I'm only doing the brown jacket, which I did not show you guys the brown jacket, I don't think. I think I only showed you the black one. I'm gonna show you the brown one if I didn't show it to you, but. Uh, I am only going to do the brown one right now and then if it comes out as good as I think it's going to come out then I'm going to order the same floral patches that I got in black. I'm going to order them in white and put the white ones on the black leather jacket which will look amazing if it like comes out how I think it's going to come out in my mind. That's what we're going to be doing when we get home a little bit later but yeah right now I'm headed to go to the thrift store first because it's furthest because I feel like if I go to Target first I'm not gonna want to go to the thrift store but if I go to the thrift store first then I'm gonna pass Target coming back home and it'll be a lot easier yeah and then my husband is out with my daughter I dropped her off um, they're doing Christmas shopping because she wanted to get her siblings Christmas presents so he's taking her to pick out Christmas presents for them which is so cute she's like I love her so yeah that's that but that's the update I will catch you guys in a little bit oh and I got the belts of course duh 
Oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. But I already got the other one. I can use the other one for something else. Or I can get the other one and return it in here. That's what I'm going to do. This is so cool. These are beautiful. And then they have the plates. So nice. I decided to leave well enough alone. No coffee table books. So what I'm going to have to do is make do with what I already have. So last stop is Target. And then what I might do is just move around some of my magazines and books that I already have to accomplish the goal. But I'm gonna go to Target and then I'm going home because I'm tired and I'm hungry. Mm, I'll catch up with you guys at Target. Okay, we are at the holiday candy aisle. I actually, these were what I was looking for, but I'm looking for the sugar cookie ones. And they didn't have them in the front. She said they might be here. So now we're gonna look. Here we go. Ooh, we're gonna do mint truffle and please have the sugar cookie oh sugar cookie yes okay i think that's it <laughs> you want to be in the okay so i showed you guys all the flavors that i got i got sugar cookie mint truffle i got cookies and cream hot cocoa and candy cane and he just tried all of them. I have not tried them yet. But I want you to rank them one to five because there's five of them. So where do you rank? Well, we can't open those yet. Did you try the peppermint I one? I haven't tried those yet. No. Okay, so you have to try this one and then rank them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So top six. And then you can rank them. <laughs> You're going to rank them? No. <laughs> I just want to try it because I love candy. Wow. <laughs> what do you think of that one? All right, that one's cool. One to six. Where do you put it on the ranking? Out of all the threes? Yeah. That one's going to be number two. Number two? Number two. That's actually pretty high. Hold on, let me set this right here. Okay. So if that one's number two. Here, let me move over so they can see. Okay, if that's, this is number two, guys. Candy cane's number two. Now, what's number one? The mint? Mint's going to be number one. This is mint truffle. This is number one. I'm shocked because I did not think this was going to be his number one. And he said he was surprised by how much he liked this yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to like that one. That one There's sprinkles in it. I'm not, yeah, that's the peppermint. But yeah, I, I just, I'm not a big mint person. I don't like mint ice cream. But. You don't like mint ice cream? Nah. But that works. Oh, if you don't like mint ice cream and this one's good, it must be really good. Okay, so sugar cookie. Uh, out of this group, I'm gonna probably say number six. The last? Yeah. Okay, so sugar cookies. Actually, six. it's only five different ones. No, there's five. No, you got two sugar cookies. Oh, uh, wait, one, two, three, four. Okay, so, so then candy cane is number two, mint truffle is number one, sugar cookies number five. Where do you rank hot cocoa and? So we have cookies and cream too. Where cookies, do you rank? Cookies and cream is three. Three cookies and cream is number three, and then hot cocoa is four. Oh. Okay, so here's the order. Best for him, mint. Number two is candy cane. Number three is cookies and cream. Number four oh, man, is brother, man, brother, four, <laughs> and cream. number four is uh, hot cocoa. Oh. And oh. then we have sugar cookie number five. Five. Uh, super mid. I'm going to give you guys my ranking later because I have not tried any of them and I'm trying to order dinner really quick so we will reconvene but I did go ahead and wash my candy dish so I'm going to put everything in here um, I was actually easily able to get the sticker off the bottom that's that no I have to use a spoon and then I have to wash it so yeah I'm going to actually put these in the candy dish and mix them 
Um, but we're gonna do that later when I am working on the like whole table. Ooh, I really wanna try it, but I'm not. I'm gonna have a little self-control. We'll rank them when I'm putting everything together. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys closer. It's about as close as we can get. Okay, so here is the jacket. We are gonna be adding a design to the back. I don't know if I showed you guys how this fits, but I'm gonna try and show you. Wait, should I try it on too? No. Okay, so this is the fit right here. Just very loose. So we're gonna sew something on the back to make it more like the Mimu jacket. These are the patches that I ordered. And I'm gonna take them out so you guys can see for context how big they are. And then my next step is gonna be to pin them onto the back of the jacket so that I know exactly where I'm sewing. Oh, they're so intricate. Like, look at this. And it's not even, it's not even glitter. It's not even glitter that's making it shimmer. It's literally the way that the beading and everything is put on. My goal is to have this like right here, kind of off to the side. I think I'm gonna have to put this on the ground so you guys can see it. And then, or maybe I'll show you guys after I pin it on. That'll be the better way to do this. And then here is the other one. This one is separated in a two, but I'm gonna use the bigger one. So this is the bigger one. I'm gonna kind of add this at an angle on the side. Oh, this is gonna look so good. I'm gonna try to see if I can show, I, you're not gonna. Let me pin this on and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm thinking to give you like a better idea. So I'll be back, let me pin this on and then I'll show you guys and then we're gonna sew it on. Okay, so I didn't pin it on yet, but just to give you context, this is how I'm gonna arrange them on. And I am going to use black um, thread to kind of just like sew along the edges. I'm not gonna sew these parts down just because I want them to keep the dimension. I'm literally only sewing down the base. And then for this one, it'll be a little bit easier. But right here, I'm only going to sew down the base and I'm going to leave these loose for dimension. And then after it's sewn on, I will show you guys the final product. Just finished pinning it to the back. I'm going to try it on just to see. Oh my gosh. That is so sickening. I love that. So here's what it looks like up close all right perfect everything is already threaded so we're gonna just start sewing and hope for the best Just to put things in perspective for you guys, I literally just finished the last stitch and <laughs> the last little bit of my bobbin was used up, but that's not even the kicker. The kicker is, yo, look, 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 come on. That was such a close call. This is the last little bit of thread I had. That's it. So now I'm about to show you guys the finished jacket. Okay. The jacket is complete. I actually sewed underneath the lining so you can't even like see it in the actual lining where I sewed it. But tell me that is not the most beautiful thriftlet. Okay, now I'm gonna try it on. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm actually wearing this immediately. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow even. So jacket done. And then we turn to the back. Party in the back. I love this so much. It's just so cool. Like, it really is cool. 
<laughs> so anyway, I am so happy with it. I am too. Such a unique piece. Okay, now I have already kind of cleaned up, but I think I want to do the uh, candy dish tablescape because that's part of the candy dish. I just had to show this because I just know I'm gonna be styling this up in some <laughs> outfits, and there's gonna be one of you guys, or ten of you guys, or twenty of you guys asking me where I got this jacket from and if I showed it. So if you see anybody make that comment, you just go under their comment and let them know they weren't watching Vlogmas if they're wondering where this jacket came from. Where did yes. it come from? So cute. Okay. See you in a bit. Come join in us all. The feeling is here today. Come on now, let's go. Caroling through the snow. but I didn't know that it had a hole at the bottom. So that's not gonna work. This is gonna be more for like, it's gonna have to be more for like a candle. So maybe I'll do, ooh. And what about this? It's this one. Something like that inside? And then I don't this. know. Mom, we gotta do the candy dish. Actually, you know what? I wonder if it's, I don't know. That would work. So actually, maybe this could be the candy dish. No. Yeah. No. It's going to have to be because we can't fit anything else. So this is going to have to be the candy dish, Wait. and I'll put flowers in there, which is fine. Okay. Which is fine. So we're going to start so, over the candy dish. I don't know if I'm going to use this over here, but we're going to see. Little bad toys that cuddle and woo. Dinosaurs both about how easy it is to fall under the influence of someone else, or rather, the influence of the spirit they carry. This can be a good or not so great thing depending. After the dream I had yesterday, I started to wonder which characteristics I'd picked up along the way that never really belonged to me. 
A lot of them were rooted in self-doubt, things others had said to me, but also things I'd said to myself. Being of sober mind is so much more important than I could ever possibly imagine. It's like being out with a group of friends at a club and you're all drunk. You're under the same influence or spirit, so you're in agreement. Two can't walk together unless they agree, right? So you're all entertained by the same things and you're vibing on the same wave. And it's all fun and games and a great time. But imagine the same scenario and you're the only sober mind in the bunch. All of a sudden, everything doesn't seem so funny, nonchalant or carefree. And you immediately recognize the danger everyone is in by not being completely aware of their surroundings or of sober mind. But because you're of sober mind, you see the men waiting just in the distance for an opportune time to move in and take advantage. And your friends are completely unaware and oblivious. The pull to join them and having a drink too many can be an easy one if you're not careful. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Your friends, your influence, can so easily lead you into destruction. A careless word or a deliberate action can plant a seed in your spirit and have you wondering months or even years later about the fruit you're bearing. You go from being completely sure to drowning in self-doubt in just a few short months, and you're wondering, how did I get here? The answer is, somewhere along the way, you came under the influence. So let's just say you find yourself here, and your question is, how do I de-influence myself? The answer is this, it's time to clean your house. There are certain gifts you were born with and add-ons you picked up along the way that were never yours to keep. A seed for a strange and bitter fruit. Souvenirs, so to speak. Pluck them up, dispose of them, and search your space for all of the things you lost sight of that were actually yours to begin with. What you expose yourself to has never been more important than now. Who, even more so, guard your ears Guard your eyes, and most importantly, guard your heart, for out of the heart the mouth speaks.